Hello, welcome back to IceWeb's demo series on the IceStorm operating system. In this session, we will demonstrate the following creating a SIF shares and setting permissions in a SIF shares using Active Directory. The first step in doing that is to go under Data Management. Under Data Management, click on NAS Shares. Under NAS Shares, one of the first things you may want to do, if it isn't currently online, you may want to go in and under configure enable the service for SIV share. Once you've enabled that service, one of the part of that is you may want to check the LM authentication level. If you are using a Windows 2008 Active Directory domain controller, you need to set the LM authentication to two. The standard default other than that would be four. Next you would go in and verify that you have joined Active Directory. Add the DNS server information IP address in this particular box, Active Directory domain name, an Active Directory join user, and the password. Once you've done that, you have joined Active Directory and it's pretty seamless from that point forward. So the next thing we would do is go back to folders. We'll see we have not created a folder. Select create. We'll see we have two pools already created, so we're going to use the disk pool itself. Create a folder. We're going to call this one sieves underscore share for demonstration purposes. So we're going to give a description of sieves share and create. Once we've created the folder, we have not shared it out as you can see, and this is a sieves or a NAS type share. So we're going to select sieves. Now we've created sieves. Now, even though we have created sieves, let's see if we look under our particular storage server. In this case, it's called iStorm2. You need to verify that. Uh, you can go to settings, go under appliance, and you can check the host name at that point. Let's go back to data management, NAS share. Once we're back in the NAS share, we will select the folder that we've created and we're going to go back and take a look at my networking. Find it here. There we go. And you'll see at this point there is, even though we've shared it out, we do not see it at this time. One of the reasons we do not see it at this time because we have not given it permissions to do so. So we're going to go and give it permissions and we'll make it dhocker add user, add the new user dhocker now we're going to go back under and refresh that view and you'll see now I have the sieve share folder and I have permissions to access that folder and we can demonstrate that by let's uh, bring our document up here and do a file let's do a save as and we can go down to our network and we can find my server in here as it populates. Sorry about that. And go to iStorm2. Go to my share. And hello. Test. Okay. So we can go back in and we can verify we have created a test. Open it back up. Edit. And just verify again that we can save it into there as you can see alright so there we go that demonstrates how to create a sieve share and use Active Directory to set the permissions on that sieve share